Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jamie Fenn. Here are seven music video effects and transitions that will make your videos look dope. Let's go! And real quick before we get started, I just wanted to give a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel so far. And if you haven't and you like videos like this, feel free to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and maybe even comment a little bit about yourself and where you're from, and I'll come say hi in the comments. All right, with that said, let's open up DaVinci Resolve and get started. All right, all right, all right. So the first effect that we're going to start with is this ghost effect or kind of like a double exposure effect. You can use it as a transition or you can just use it as an effect. And it's actually pretty simple to do. So what you want to do for this effect is go to your clip that you want to do the effect on and then simply hold down alt or option on your keyboard to duplicate that clip. So just go ahead and click on that clip and drag it up. Then zoom in a little bit and you can just drag it a few frames forward or backwards. And once you select that upper clip, come up to your composite mode and you can select soft light. You can actually achieve this effect with different layers and different types of composite modes. And something that's actually really nice to do with this effect is to actually just gradually have it come in and out of the clip. So it kind of like teases you with the effect. So you start with like the normal version and then it fades into it. And if you want to get really fancy with it, you can duplicate that clip again and select hue. And that will add some cool color change effects to the clip and the layers. And you'll get something that looks like this. The next effect is like this rewind effect and you kind of like jump back and forward and it's really simple to do as well. And so what you would do is you would just find a clip that you want to do the effect on. We're going to pick, you know, just this specific shot and just pick that right there. And what you want to do is push B on your keyboard and cut that clip. Then hold down alt and option on your keyboard and just duplicate it, drag it next to it, right click on it select change clip speed, and then select reverse speed, click change, and then now you have this rewind effect. And what's really nice is that you can just highlight both those clips and depending on how many times you want it to happen, you can just keep duplicating them and dragging them in front of one another. And what's really important to do with this effect is to cut on the beat. So you don't want to have it randomly unless that's kind of the style you're going for, but it's nice and it looks better if you're cutting this effect and it matches the beat of the music. So this next effect is kind of like this, I don't know what you would call it, kind of like a drawing stylized effect. And it looks like when it hits on the drop of the beat and it kind of does that, it looks like it's kind of hand drawn. So what you wanna do is go to the clip that you want to do the effect on, come over to your effects library, select open effects. And this specific stylized effect is called edge detect. So go ahead and drag that on top of your clip. I'm going to turn off this upper clip so it doesn't have some weird artifacts. And what we want to do is select it, come up to the open effects, and we can play with the threshold and play with the denoise strength. And if you actually turn up the denoise strength, you kind of get this cool edgy effect, kind of like a glowy effect. And what's really nice with this as well is that you can just layer the clips and basically Kind of just have it fade in or cut you can just cut two clips together that's what i did with the intro video so if you want to layer them on top of each other like that and kind of have the clip fade in or even cut on the beat of the music you can kind of mess with it like that all right so let's move on to the next effect and the next effect is light rays so you want to grab the clip that you want to do this effect on and i'm going to show you here for example so here's the drummer and you want to come up to your effects library and under the open effects, once again, you want to scroll down to the resolve FX light. There you'll see light rays. Go ahead and throw that on top by dragging and dropping that effect on top of the clip. And now you can see that it kind of does some magic. It's just, it's really cool. It's one of my favorite built in effects that resolve has. But in order to kind of get like that flash, really intense hit, you have to keyframe the blend mode and also the threshold and you kind of have to work with your individual clips so depending on what you're trying to do you're going to have to kind of adjust these parameters to your specific video 
So I'm going to show you how to keyframe it real quick. What I like to do is just turn the blend mode all the way up so the effect is not happening on the clip. Select a keyframe. Then come to the point where I want it to happen. Boom, he hits the symbols. So I want to go right before, select another keyframe. So I'm just selecting that little red diamond. And then right when he hits it, I'm going to turn that blend mode up. And then go a few frames forward and then select another keyframe and then go one frame forward and turn it all the way down. So now we have something that looks like this. And you can adjust the quickness and the parameters of it. You can turn up or down the source threshold and you can also change the direction. So for example, the light is coming from behind him. So what I would do in this situation is turn everything this direction, maybe play with the Y position just a tiny bit. And, you know, maybe even adjust the softness if I feel like it. And what's really cool is you can actually adjust the color as well. So say you want to have like blue light or purple light or, you know, whatever. Yellow, orange looks cool. And then click OK. And then you have something that looks like that. All right. So this next effect is when the clip kind of shakes when the kick drum hits in the song. And it kind of gives like a really intense effect for the drop or just certain bass parts of your song so basically what you want to do is come back under the open effects and scroll down all the way to the bottom and you'll see resolve fx transform go ahead and click on camera shake drag that on top of your clip and so for example i'm going to do it right when he hits the symbols and that light ray effect happens so again what i'm going to do is make sure i come under my inspector over here click on open effects and You'll see that the camera shake was added down here, but there are no parameters. In case you don't know this, you could just double click it and it'll have a drop down of all these parameters. And that's a lot of adjustments. So I want the intensity of this to be crazy. So again, I'm going to just keyframe right before, go to the drums, keyframe after, turn this all the way up or down, I guess, in this case. And what I want to do is actually turn up the motion scale and the speed scale. And so what we're going to do now, turn up the PTR speed a little bit, and then I'm going to come a few frames forward with my arrows when maybe the lights turn off like those light rays. And then I'm going to keyframe once, go one frame forward and turn this up, making another keyframe. So now we have something that looks like this. Pretty cool, right? It's really nice to have when you have like the emphasis on the one for the drop, kind of shakes the camera, makes like kind of gives the, the footage a little bit more life. All right, so this next effect is going to be the mirror slash kaleidoscope effect. It's really cool when you want to, you know, kind of add like more of a trippy element to your footage. So in order to do that, just go ahead and click on the clip that you want to do the effect on. Come down under your open effects once again. And let's come up to the resolve effect stylize and click on mirrors, drag that on top of our clip. And now you'll see that it automatically has like a default setting of this pretty trippy, cool mirror from the middle out. And what's great about this is if you come up to your inspector, click on open effects, by default, it's just kind of like a mirror. And you can select these three basic settings. This is the kaleidoscope setting under the uh, mirror placement options. And so you can really play with this, really get some cool designs. And also you can keyframe designs. So say, for example, you have this, but you want to keyframe pattern or just the position of you know the controls of this kaleidoscope you can just select this at the beginning of your clip maybe move it to the end or even halfway turn this up a little bit and now you have something that looks like that and you can keyframe this all to the beat that's what's really important is using all these effects and keyframing it to the beat of the music if you want to just have one mirror, you can just select the individual mirror and then you can also adjust the parameters here and kind of just mess with uh, you know, the X and Y position. You can also rotate it and change the angle of the mirror. So you can kind of create your own distorted, crazy shapes of whatever you like. It's pretty nice. And then you can also add different mirrors. So if you want to keep adding more mirrors and going crazy with it, you can kind of customize your own kaleidoscope design, basically. It's a really fun effect to use. And it's really, uh, I don't know, it's just different. Thought it would be cool to put in a music video. Pretty simple. Thought I'd show you guys. All right, last but not least are these like, they look kind of like TV lines and they're kind of cool and trippy and rainbowy. And so in order to do that effect, I'm going to find the clip that I want to do the effect on. 
for example, this clip here. You just want to come under your Resolve Stylize once again, and you want to select Scan Line. So go ahead and drop that on top of your footage. And now you have something that looks like this by default. I'm just going to make this a little bit longer. Turn off my effects library, show you guys a little bit more. You want to select the open effects under the inspector up here in the right hand corner. And you can adjust the line frequency. And then also you can change the color here. And, you know, adjusting the hue of this whole clip, clicking OK. But what I did is I actually adjusted the red and green offsets. And you want to do it however you like. I kind of like just messing with it where you get a cool color contrast. And then in order to kind of get like a rotating, just like design craziness, I kind of just played with this, to be honest with you guys. But I would keyframe the line frequency. So I would start here, keyframe at the very beginning of the clip and make the size of the line frequency that I'd really like. Go ahead and move it about halfway through. Adjust this to maybe go a little bit bigger. And then also at the end of the clip, so I would start here keyframe this again and then what I'd like to do is rotate it. So I'm going to select the line angle keyframe option and bring it all the way to the end and just move this up to be like that and maybe even bring the line frequency down. So it's very small but it's a really cool, I don't know, you can just like animate however you like it. Alright so I lied, there's actually eight effects in this video so don't tell anyone, it's a secret. Here's the eighth effect for you, it's the strobe effect so it kind of looks like you're maybe at a concert or something so if you go under open effects and go under the transform and select flicker addition go ahead and drag that on top and if you want it to be really strong the range is what is the like what's going to give it that boost of craziness and you can just play with the speed and it looks like now a horror flick but you get the idea this video is a combination of all of these effects put together and layered on top of one another here's a quick preview of what it looks like and basically all the cuts that i did and all the effects and so you kind of get the idea of like all the layering that goes into it and yeah. yeah so here it is once again if you guys enjoyed this please hit that like button subscribe and i'll see you in my next video Let's Push it to the limit, push it, push it to the limit